process based distortion like top professional engineers do, you could either use an entire rack of specific studio gear, a pedal board full of pedals, or you could just use the Dark Glass Microtubes X7. When you start looking at distortion pedals to use on bass, you notice that there's something that almost all of them have, and that's a mix knob. The reason that bass distortions have a mix knob is because when you distort a bass signal across the entire audio spectrum, you start to lose what folks usually call the fundamental, which is like the low, impactful part of the bass sound where your typical bass does most of its work in the mix. The solution a lot of pedals use to this problem is the mix knob. You blend some of your unprocessed signal back in. That gives you some of your fundamental back. However, when you use a mix knob, you're blending the entire frequency spectrum back in. In. So if you're interested in bringing back that low-end, impactful fundamental, you're going to bring a bunch of high-end information back with it too. You might find yourself in a situation where you say, you know, I wish that I could bring just parts of the low-end fundamental back in and let the high-end stay as wild and buzzy as it wants to. I further wish the low-end that I've brought back in could be, I don't know, compressed somehow? Well friends, I have a solution for you. The X7, the mighty middle child of the Dark Glass X family. And it uses the magic of parallel processing to grant all of your wishes. Taking a look at the front panel of the X7, I think it's probably easiest to understand this pedal if you break it into three separate sections. There's a section for processing your low signal, a section for processing your high signal, and then a master section that processes everything together. The X7's approach to distortion and the trick it uses to keep your fundamental as part of your final sound is to split your signal, process it with a couple of different filters, and apply different effects to different frequency ranges of the signal. The low end of your signal, which is selected with a low pass filter, runs through a compressor to smooth and control the fundamental. By the way, this is an SSL style feedback compressors with VCAs and a 4 to 1 ratio. In other words, it's pretty nice. The amount of compressed low end in your final signal is controlled with the low level knob. The high frequencies of your signal are selected with a high pass filter and this means that only the upper register of your sound is getting distorted. You control the volume of the distorted upper register with the high level knob. Then both the high and low signals are combined to pass through the EQ and master volume sections. This, by the way, is a trick called parallel processing and it's a great way to get a ton of control over your signal.
So a setting on this pedal I kept finding myself going back to was to crank the filters basically to their maximum. And once again, that was taking the low pass filter all the way clockwise and then the high pass filter all the way counterclockwise. This actually gives you a nice fat chunk. I think it's from 100 to 500 hertz of your signal that is both compressed and distorted. And I tend to like my distortion with a lot of body and a lot of roar. So this really did the trick for me. I, I don't want to use the term best kept secret because there is a knob for it right on the front, but the compressor on this thing is just killer. It's a really nice style. I found it really musical and interesting and combined with all the different colors you can get out of the distortion makes this a very versatile pedal. A piece of advice for using this compressor is it doesn't appear as though the output is compensated. So as you turn up the compressor, your level will get hotter. So just watch for that and control it using your master. This is also one of those pedals that seems to really reward just taking some time and, and messing with it, just cranking it to extreme settings and trying to boost the level with the knob and then pull it out with the graphic EQ. There's all sorts of interesting little nuances all over this thing. And that's gonna do it for our rundown of the Microtubes X7, a versatile box with a lot of tricks up its sleeve. I have been Amos, you have been amazing. I will see you on the next one.